Hey, what's up? This is Corporal Lett. Uh, before I get started with uh, trying to answer some questions and give a basic rundown on some of the other things that goes on around here, I ask a little favor of everybody that's been watching and subscribing and sending me a message. First, again, thank you. Uh, it's certainly appreciated. Um, basically, recently I got some news about my uncle. That's Uncle Bill. Um, had an accident falling off a roof. Uh, had some skull fractures. Uh, right now he's in a coma. Um, I try to get updates as much as I can. It's frustrating to not be able to be you know, closer to home and the family during something like that. Um, it's kind of weird because you feel like sometimes while you're here you're you're stuck in a bubble sometimes. You, you think about your day-to-day -day things and what you're doing out here to you know, just the basics, whether you're trying to just get to a shower, or you're trying to eat, or trying to survive, you sometimes forget um, your family and everybody back home that's, you know, living life as usual and putting up with their own struggles, and then you hear something about this, and it really brings that fact home. Uh, so if everybody could just keep him in your thoughts and prayers, and especially his family, uh, Alice and Michael and Ellen, I would appreciate it. Um, I'm sure they would. And just to them, I love you. Um, Look forward to seeing you guys when I get out of here and try to make up for some lost time. Um, other than that, uh, try to get back to answer some of the questions. One of the uh, questions I've gotten a lot is whether I'm a Pogue or not, <laughs> or my MOS. And I, yes, I'm a Pogue uh, position other than Grunt, um, not in the infantry. I'm actually a combat correspondent, uh, like Joker and Full Metal Jacket. Um, stateside, certainly, um, you know, lives are vastly different uh, on a day-to-day -day basis than an infantryman. Uh, once we get deployed, however, that changes a lot. I mean, a lot of my time here is with infantry. That's kind of what we do is get attached to different infantry units. Um, as an IA, that unit could change every week. Um, so you spend a lot of time with them, you do what they do, uh, your job is just to kind of tell a story about it. Uh, this blog is not a part of that job, that's something totally separate, uh, but that's where kind of I can get the video from and things along that line. Um, also, I've got some questions about the living conditions and whether I have my own room and so forth. Well, here, uh, I do have my own room. Uh, however, I don't spend a lot of time here. I travel around from different fobs and cops. Um, then it gets really sticky. You know, sometimes you just sleep up in the mountains depending on what's going on uh, oftentimes you have kind of a big tent structure where you will have five to fifteen uh, service members all staying in that area and you know it makes for a crowded situation but it's you know you're not in paradise you don't expect you know beds and sheets and all that um, as far as internet capabilities that's all variant again on where you are um, food you know, if you're on a FOB or where I'm at now, uh, a very large installation or uh, airfield, if you will, food is certainly not a problem. Um, it's not the best stuff you've ever had, but, you know, food's not, you know, a big thing for you either. But plenty of choices, plenty of food. Uh, when you get to COPS, uh, COPS are combat outposts. They're really small, usually remote. Uh, their facilities are all different. Some some have restrooms, some don't, some have chow halls or hot food, some don't, some simply live off MREs or Pop-Tarts, anything that can pretty much sit on a shelf for a long time. Um, that kind of sums up what I wanted to, wanted to say and try to answer some questions. Um, again, I appreciate all the support and the viewership. I will certainly have more videos coming down the line um, and try to just get out as many of them as I can. Um, but until that next video, uh, just keep spreading the word for me and oorah, and I will be in touch later.